Hi, my name is Barry Cranton. Today I'm going to show you around our Bentley Continental GT. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 4-litre GT V8S automatic. Four-wheel drive, Euro 5 engine, 3,993cc, 2014 on the 64 plate. Absolutely beautiful throughout and great specification. Has done 42,295 miles at the moment. But when you do inquire about it, ask about the mileage because uh, <laughs> we can't stop John from using it, as you would expect. Fuel economy, urban, 18.4 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 36.7 miles per gallon. And combined is 26.8 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 4.3 seconds. A top speed of 192 miles per hour. Out of a V8, 521 brake horsepower, 32 valve engine. I've uh, been waiting to do this for a few days now. <laughs> We've finally got a nice day. Um, the car is absolutely fantastic to drive. It's beautiful to look at. Great colour combination. Um, I'll, I'll tell you the proper colours in a short while and, and the proper mix of the interior. But it's, it's just... <laughs> it's just beautiful. <laughs> it really is. Four-wheel drive. It feels absolutely planted to the road. We've just had it serviced. Um, probably the, the best car we've had in, I suppose, really, in terms of uh, comfort. I think it was about 128,000 pounds new. I'll run through the spec as well, and, and, and I'll try and tell you about it. But yesterday, um, I was pulling the brochures up on the internet, and there's so much, there's so much it does. It, it's got... Uh, cylinder deactivation technology so what when you're not pressing the the gas pedal too hard the accelerator too hard then it goes into four cylinder mode so you've got kind of a, a four liter v8 or a two liter um <laughs> four cylinder so it's pretty economical too I, I again i noticed on the way up it was averaging 23 miles per gallon and uh from a cold start this morning the car was all frozen up this morning it's 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 a lovely day, but it's it's flipping cold. So, 20, 23 miles per gallon, I'd be happy with that, to be fair. It's got these 21 inch rotor design alloys, the big red Bentley calipers there, massive discs, shod with Pirelli P0s all, all round, dual headlights, uh, daytime running lights, the black mesh grille, low chin spoiler, front parking sensors, the chrome headlight surrounds. I must show you the engine. All the switch gear and the handles, the bonnet release. The bonnet release feels like it's milled out of a big piece of aluminium. Whether it is or not, I don't know, but uh, it really is. <laughs> the engine there. You can't really see a whole lot because, as usual, they've all got uh, big plastic covers over them. But even the plastic cover looks absolutely proper. Twin turbo badge, 4 litre V8, the Bentley badge at the back, the oil cap. And the oil cap looks just like the, uh, the, the fuel cap. And the fuel cap looks like if you had it in your hand, you could knock somebody out in it. It weighs a ton. Proper, well-built vehicle. Un unbelievably well-built. Chrome window surrounds, no rear privacy glass, but to be fair, the, the back window is only yay big, so um, that would look silly. I mean, this just looks class. I, I prefer it without the uh, tinted rear windows anyway, of the, the privacy glass. It, it just looks so much better. We've got nice sill extensions at the bottom there, and then again, this matching chrome strip at the bottom. Has a rear spoiler which comes up at a certain speed. I, I think if it's up and the police see you, you're going to get arrested. I, I could have sworn it was about 94 miles per hour, but I could be wrong. You can also put it up by hand and it comes down in four stages so nobody gets a hand trap. But to be fair, if they sat on your boot at 94 miles per hour, they deserve to get their hand trapped. Everything about it, so, the lines are so clean and everything is just kind of seamless and, and flush. The light, you know, the, 
don't stick out, there's no gaps around them. It's a kind of an engineering and also an artistic sort of masterpiece. Little, the, the little chrome flashes at the back here down the side, the twin, twin exhaust with chrome tips, reversing sensors here, we've, uh, the, the release is built into the Bentley badge which is beautiful and it'll go up from the, the touch of a switch, it's also as you can see power open, power close, the power close button is there, this has got the reversing camera as well and I, th I think just the reversing camera was an extra £775 on the car and that's just there. There's enough room to get a, at least one set of golf clubs in and, and some fairly big bags. Although the, the actual entry to the boot is not that big, it, it does go back a fair, fair way. Little, little plates screwed on here. It's, it's just it's the best of British. It's just fantastic. Uh, I mean, if you look after this car, um, it'll go down for a bit, but then I would imagine it'll start coming up like the other Bentleys. So it's a beautiful colour. It's a beautiful colour combination. The, the fuel cap. Let me... Uh, The fuel cap, again, looks like it's been milled out of one solid piece of aluminium. Whether it has or not, I don't know, so. Now, I'm just gonna take you for a ride in it. Uh, I did wanna go down the motorway today. However, the, uh, let's just see. On the way up the motorway, they've got it down to one lane, virtually all the way from Lancaster to uh, Preston. So it's, it's not gonna be ideal for me going down, down the motorway. So I'm gonna take you down the country. And uh, it's probably not the mileage that this Bentley is gonna be doing down country lanes. Al although, it would, if it was a Sunday car, it would be ideal for a Sunday car. It's low mileage, it's probably one of the best examples around great service history. As I say, we, we've just had it. Um, we just had it done at Bentley Manchester and uh, it's just, I, I could sit and look at it. <laughs> it really is a work of art. Right, I'll take you for a ride in it. There you go, that's the key. Put on the brake, ignition on. And then, and then that V8. That's what it's like inside. Of course, it's got double glazing. On the outside, it's completely different. See so here the seat belt comes out on a stalk. I'm just gonna turn that down when I first got in it this morning, all frozen up. As I say, beautiful day, but very cold today. Um, the car's just absolutely, I'm just gonna turn it around because the sun's on where I'll be videoing and uh, I just want to tell you a little bit more about it without the, the sun being on my cameras and overheating them. So there's the £775 reversing camera. And I mean, actually looking at it, does it, when you put it in reverse, so in reverse there, yeah, it just it kind of highlights <laughs> highlights the bit where you where you're going there and uh, grays out the rest so you you know what you're doing here we go this 
that's the specification of the vehicle and uh, right main paint Havana hide magnolia and dark bourbon I mean just it's just lovely uh, the carpet the boot carpet beluga you've also got this the, the roof here and I mean I, I think you'll probably love or hate this interior I love it but you've seen my jacket so there you go uh, that might that might be a bad thing but having said that uh, John's a bit laid back and conservative when it when it comes to uh, clothing and so on and cars and buying them and it, and he loves it too um, I it's I wish I was cleverer <laughs> and I wish I could describe the interior and the way it's made I mean even the, the steering wheel you look at the steering wheel and it's kind of the, the same lines the same symmetry as the the dashboard this uh, you know the the hollowed out the steering wheel in the dual hide as well aluminium round the switches on here everything feels great the the, the gear knob leather and this aluminium kind of knurled top you can adjust the the shock absorbers uh, obviously you can put it into sport I got in the car this morning uh, and I always come up here early to miss a try and miss the traffic and miss the people who go walking up here and uh, I got in it and it said low tire pressures so oh, marvelous six o'clock freezing um, my I always carry a, a compressor with me wherever I go guess what <laughs> not today I, uh, it's in the boot of my Range Rover because I had a puncture the other day. So I headed to the petrol station, the fuel station, but on the way to the fuel station, I started messing around with the controls. And here, if you go into car there, you'll see there, car system set up. And it tells you the uh, tire pressures in the front and back. But here, over here, you've got speed. So you've got comfort, normal and maximum. If you go to maximum, there you go tire pressure is too low it's too low for for the maximum uh, that you're going to use this car at so <laughs> i'll just go back there go back to comfort and the tire pressure warning light will go off but again i'll, I'll go back to my teapot analogy i bought a teapot don't matter whether you're right or left-handed you put tea bags in it you pour water in it it has one job whether you pour in one cup or six cups, it, it's all the same. It has one one job. We've been drinking tea in the British Empire since God knows when. Um, and it drips. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't pour it without it dripping. So, but this Bentley, it's designed for one person, two people, or... or two kids in the back you're never going to fit adults in the back there it, you you're really not but it and it's designed to potter around town or do 198 mile an hour the same tires the suspension can be adjusted there you go that's the suspension your comfort and, and you can have it all the way up to sport or just click plus or minus comfort you know it's comfort every time service I'm going to turn the I'm going to turn that down again so my cameras don't overheat with the sun on them 11th of 12 2014 at 462 miles Bentley Kent that's the running in service 14th of 7 2016 at 1657 miles Bentley Kent 15th of the 8th 2017 13,252 miles Bentley Kent 11th of the 9th, 2018, at 19,288 miles, Harwoods. 21st of the 9th, 2020, at 30,368 miles, Bentley, Bristol. 11th of the 10th, 2021, uh, at 36,381 miles, Bentley, Bristol. We've had, just had it done um, yesterday, I 
I've lost track of the days. Now Wednesday it was done. Um, so that was done at Bentley Manchester. Oh, one thing in the brochure that I've got to tell you. <laughs> Shaped by air, driven like the wind. That's in the brochure. I thought that was tremendous. And then I've made, I've made a, a load of other notes, really. Um, so gentle throttle opening, it um, converts to four-cylinder, it deactivates four-cylinders, and just you're just driving around town in, and basically in a, a two-litre V4. It has hydraulic engine mounts to take the vibration away, at, you know, at tick over. Um, just all stuff that's, you, you'll notice this, if you've got a car with stop-start, every time you, you pull up, you move 10 yards in a traffic jam, it cuts off, then it starts again, and it, and it, it like rattles. That's the worst time in a car, starting a car up. It's the worst time, and un, under the most stress, I think, and, and certainly on tick over. So, dividing that out. It's got a 40% efficiency gain. I, I'm assuming that's on the, the W, or is it? Perhaps it's on the, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. It might be might be over the W12, but it, it's nearly as fast. I think I think the W12 does about another eight miles an hour. Five hundred and thirty miles between fill-ups. No, I, I I can't I can't read my own writing here. Oh, this is this is fiddleback eucalyptus, and it has kind of a 3D effect. This 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 ward. So that's absolute. I mean, it's just beautiful. And the cobra head seats. Now, that doesn't mean it's made out of cobra's heads. It means it looks like one. And, it, and when you look at it now, it actually does. Um, I'm, I'll try and remember to cut a picture of a cobra in, in case you've never seen one. But there are those that, when you annoy them, the, the neck or the head swells up. Right, let's go. Let's get going. Three position electric memory seat, height and reach adjustable steering wheel, and that's electric height and reach adjustable, like from, from there. Now I'm just going to be careful. It's fairly low, this car, and I don't want to bottom out here. And uh, I also. See, we're also going into the sun this way. Um, actually, just turn that back on. It's media. The sound system is kind of second to none. It reminds me of an electric car. You can hardly hear the engine. All you can hear really is tyre noise. The tyres, P0s, on the motorway on a smooth surface you can hardly hear the tires on a rough surface i would say they're quite noisy uh, but the only reason they're quite noisy is because everything else is so quiet it's just a beautiful car this road is terrible here i'm going to try and miss all that and i'm just i'll just put it in sport It, it actually felt like it was going to do a wheelie then. It really, it, it felt like the front wheels were going to come off the ground like a, a dragster. You need a wheelie bar on the back. Oh, it's got soft closed doors as well. So you just, all you'd need to do is just push the doors to and then it'll, the motors will bring the door in and, and close it properly. These, everything is, you know, I, I really miss the old days. Proper switches, everything machined, no plastics as such. When cars were made properly, and especially Bentleys. I, I was in Sorrento a few years ago, and I saw a, an old Bentley blower with a 
being chased actually. They, they looked like they were racing through Sorrento and uh, they're just timeless really. Got powerful indoor mirrors. Must be going too fast anyway. A lovely display. Not too complicated. I mean, I, I mean, just imagine. And I, one of these iPad things in here. It's just not right, is it? It's oh, it's a Mulliner spec as well. My oh, gosh. As soon as I can pull up again, when when it's somewhere safe. I'll just tell you the the extras. I think it costs 128 grand new, or 128,000 pounds. When you first get in it, you think, Oof, "God, this is a big car." And when you look in the mirrors. You can see the haunches at the back. Feels really wide. Let's can I just I'm just gonna pull up here a second. Then we'll allow, be able to allow the tractors and any, anything that comes through. But while I remember, on the back page of this, because the Mulliner spec with the, the quilted seats and so on, it's about six grand. So the options. Hand cross stitching, £2,300. Hand cross stitching, We're, oh, that's along here. Wow, no. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, you've got the Bentley sign in the, uh, the headrest, the headrest at the back. So the cross stitching is all around the seat in here. So, look, look, <laughs> it looks a bit like a Frankenstein sort of stitch. But obviously, it's very difficult to do. Hand stitching to steering wheel, £129. So again, this cross stitching. Mulliner driving specification with alternative wheel, £6,883.33. Dual tone, three spoke, high trimmed steering wheel, £279.17. Lanswell rugs to front, in addition to standard overmat, £362. Battery charger UK adapter, £79.17. Bentley GPS tracking system, full fitment, £1,145. So the tracking system, you've got two of these trackers that you, you keep with you. If it goes without that, then you've uh, it will be reported, no doubt, as long as you've got a contract. Rear view camera, that's the rear view camera, £775. Um, so total price, £127, if only, eh? I'd have a few of them, £127,787. Let's go and get going again. I'm going to turn this heater off completely because it is warm. Nothing coming, nothing coming there. No animals on the road. Oh, it's just... Again, you can see out there, you can see the frost on the fields, the bits that are still in shade. This, this is the life. It's got Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. And it changes seamlessly from four cylinder to, to eights. Great. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> this is what you need. Hopefully it'll be turning off, but I, I doubt very much. It's showing an average of 23.7 miles per gallon at the moment. And you, you've got the Bentley clock here. Is it a, I think it's a Breitling. It's turned off. This is just effortless. And one of the things with these, it, it will go as fast as, well, certainly faster than my talent will allow me. And, uh, but there's just no need to, there's uh, no reason to, um, and you just want, you just don't want to drive fast, you just want to make it float. This is a, a motorway mile eater. You jump in this, drive to the south of France, or in my case, Italy, and uh, get out the other side, fresh as a daisy. There's no silly things to take your mind off driving. No stop start, no lane departure warning. You make your own lanes in this. And I would imagine it's so wide. I and can I can I just say what? You know, electrics. Electrics, you, you just, you can't beat a V8. These electric cars that they're producing, they'll, uh, they'll go as fast as a V8, no doubt, and a W12. But give me a proper, well engineered internal combustion engine any time. It just, just purrs along. I mean, if we don't sell this car immediately, I probably will do a kind of a motorway review. But there's nothing to tell you. It's, we're probably better off doing this ride with the steering and the bumps to, to, to show you how good it is. Motorway, Harry Flatters, spoiler her up. just mile after mile. The, the tires are making a little, this basically is just gravel and chewed up road. Come on, Mr. Pheasant. thinks it's a roadrunner. That's it, go in there. There we go. Again, no pheasants were harmed. No wildlife. T actually, turn that down. I'm gonna try and cool it down in here. Put them on low. I'll freeze to death just so my cameras don't overheat on a freezing cold day. I 
after being stood outside for an hour, videoing it freezing to death. Oh dear. Roadkill. I mean, th this is a Sunday car. It's, uh, I thought that was a bird landing then, it was a leaf. Um, it's about, I've seen little electric cars going for the same price as we're asking for this. What would you rather have? I just don't feel like I'm moving. All right, we're only doing 30 miles an hour, but. It's just like this. What's the, what's the noise? It, it's, it's just noise from the gravel on the tires. And the tires are enormous, 21 inch wheels. I'm not sure what profile it is, it'll be low profile and they're extremely wide. On the, um, on the health report from Bentley Manchester, I, they couldn't find anything. Um, I think they did report the discs are a little rusty. And I think that was reported on the MOT too. Perhaps a little lip. And it probably on a normal car, and if Bentley weren't Bentley, you wouldn't do anything. But we don't like sending cars out with advisories on MOTs. A lot of garages would do. These, the brakes certainly work fine. There's no juddering. It pulls up fine, absolutely nothing wrong with them and functioning as they should do. A lot of people would send it out and leave you with a, the build an XMOT when it perhaps fails next time. And to be fair, it, it'd probably just be advised next time if you carry on doing the same amount of miles as this guy's done, it'd just be the same next year. But we will put discs on, discs and pads, so we'll do that. There'll be nothing for you to do, it's just a 128,000 pound car with 42,000 miles on at less than half price. I think we'll be doing a brake fluid change as well due for that. Aircon controls there, your mirrors here. Handbrake, your suspension, heated seats. What is that? Hang on. Start stop button. So do you mean to tell me I've been using the key and there's a start stop button here? Baz. Just switch the map on there. Nice clear display. The cold air is coming through now, so that should uh, keep my cameras in check.
<laughs> so back to internal combustion engines <laughs> and electrics. New Sony camera there. And it's just, it's not a week old and it's just switched off. <laughs> You've got to laugh. £550, just out last week, brand new. And it switched off. Fortunately, because I don't trust anything these days, I don't trust my GoPros. And I, so I, I have that many GoPros. I have two microphones as well. Redundancy, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I believe in. If, if one thing goes down, hopefully you've got a backup. So we'll see how this video turns out. <laughs> the cyclist coming up. We can give him enough room. I've done a video on how you pair a mobile, how you delete a mobile, stream audio work the sat nav and I can just pull over just over here I'll just give you a quick blast of the stereo which is very very good and of course because it, I mean now all you can hear is the tyres and, and the and the air conditioning fan. If I turn that off. It just, it's just like a breeze. <laughs> just pull over here. in park, we're on a country lane. We'll, we'll knock that off. Proper music, proper car. And not a, none of that rubbish we have today, or you have today. Two tons plus, stops on a sixpence. on a, a real windy night and you're inside and you can just hear riding two abreast the opposite way how, how am I going to give him a yard's room what does he want me to do drive up the uh, mountain oh having said that <laughs> take up much room <laughs> yeah so when you're inside and there's a there's a like a real gale force wind outside me and you just hear that outside that's what this car sounds like it is it's it's uh, what was it shaped by i'm gonna have to stop again and look driven like the wind lovely brown metallic which looks almost black when it's not a sunny day like this
Absolutely beautiful. I know I've forgotten to talk about most of this stuff. <laughs> but, you know, do you care, really? It looks fantastic inside and outside. Brilliant condition. Great specification. What could be nicer than going out in this at weekend? with your loved one or your, or your wife. I'm only jealous of happily married couples. <laughs> So I'm going to finish the test drive here. I may switch the cameras back on in a, in a while when I get to the, the motorway or anything. And uh, what a beautiful car! I can't I can't fault it. It's just it it's just awesome. <laughs> I, I'm going to be depressed now when when I. <laughs> When my Citroen Ami comes next month <laughs> and I'm driving around in a car that'll, well, not even a car, a quadricycle that'll do 28 miles an hour max, has a range of 45 miles, and no proper heater. <laughs> and then I think of this, it's just go it's going to depress me. <laughs> what a great car. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So I've switched the cameras back on again. <laughs> this, this is such a lovely road that uh, I thought I may as well just, I probably won't talk, just enjoy the driving and uh, you can enjoy it with me. That's the inn at White Will there. Lovely place for a meal and a nice drink. As long as you're not driving. Yes. I, um, I remember a few months ago, well, probably over a year ago now, we got this uh, Range Rover in and it was absolutely beautiful. And I remember thinking then, because that's, that's kind of the, the class we'd moved up to, the Range Rovers, Vogue's, SE's, autobiographies. And I, I was kind of reflective then, um, you know, what if this is as good as it gets? I've I worked for Amaris, uh, the supercar dealer, and sold all sorts of cars, dealt with all sorts of lovely people. And I remember selling uh, a Bentley Continental GT over the phone. And um, the guy was a, I think he was a market trader in London. And he wanted the car delivery. Anyway, I'll, when, it, when the vehicle set off, or the, the delivery driver set off to take it and a uh, warning light came up and it was the brake lights. So he turned around and came back. And it was the, the high level brake light that had gone. And we had to get one, so we couldn't take it that day. So I, I rang him to tell him that it wouldn't be delivered that day because of the, the brake light. And he went mad, <laughs> you know, he went, I, I, I'm doing this and um, I've told my wife to stay in and anyway, all, all sorts of stuff like that. And you could understand he was a bit upset. Um, but anyway, we, we delivered it and uh, 
he rang me up about a week later and I have to say he, he bought it the videos back then weren't as good as they are now we do our videos in 4k um, and I think we we only had photographs on the website of, of this car and that was an unusual color it was blue the the hide the seats were blue and um, this color so that that was a, a very um, emotive choice you know it you either loved that or you hated it anyway he loved it and his wife hated it so he rung us up he rung us up the next week he says this car i, I don't want it uh, i want another one have you got any have you got another one i said well, yeah we've got a black one i'll have that <laughs> that was it <laughs> never never asked how never asked how much it was he says uh, ring the wife and she'll transfer the money to you and uh, he says, the wife's not going to be in. Just park it on the tennis court. <laughs> so, how the other half live? But uh, anyway, now, <laughs> you, you couldn't get a better car. I mean, I, like, I love Range Rovers. I really love Range Rovers. And I prefer the elevated driving position. But this, it just, it goes like the wind. It's, it's almost like you're sat in front of a screen and the countryside's coming at you. What great design though. Um, just back there I was in a Mercedes CLA AMG and there's a, they've actually repaired it now but there was a part of the road the side of the road had crumbled away and uh, as I'm coming along here round that bend or to that bend a van driver came the other way and he was on his phone and obviously the bend had taken him by surprise and he came round on the wrong side of the road so I had to move over and of course, as luck would have it, front wheel went where the, there was no tarmac and uh, burst the tyre. So I'm very wary of that now, which is why I, I slowed down and lo and behold, there was a car coming. Oh, this. My girlfriend says I only love cars. Well, it's got cruise control. I forgot to tell you as well. In the, if you're still watching, it's got cruise control, and it's also got these paddle shifts. If I had one criticism of this car, it would be the paddle shift. The paddle shift is in a in the place I would expect the indicators and the wipers to be. It's got a very big bonnet as well when you're going over a hill. So it's just down here the, and it's quite easy to think you're going to indicate and, it, and that's it, it's the, the paddle shift it's just on big stalks. You get used to it in a nanosecond as I say it is a that is a very minor complaint. I, I just can't think of anything else. The electric seats. You can even put the, the thigh support up. You've got lumbar support. The back rest. The seat back and forward. Listen that noise. So you can't half tell when you do 
give it, give it some gas, you can hear the burbling engine. And when you just drive normally, it's uh, quiet as anything. I've got to say, I prefer the burbling. <laughs> oh, listen. That's, it's like an old Merlin engine. Let's just get some, uh, John and myself, we, we were talking about the cars, um, our, our stop and stock profile. And I probably briefly mentioned it in the last video that we've got a lot of people, a lot of old customers, and, and we don't want to just, it, it, the amount it costs you to get a customer the first time is phenomenal. Your advertising and so on. So if, if, you, if, if you do your job properly and you get the customer back again to buy a second car or they ring you up and say, I'll, I'll be in the market, which we've got a few customers who do, I'll be in the market for a car in about three months, would you keep a lookout for this sort of car? Uh, and, and we do. That, that costs you nothing. That's the best reflection, the best review you can get. Somebody who comes and buys another vehicle it's the cheapest form of, of, for us for selling vehicles. And, I, and I'm a bit concerned that we're, we're going, we're buying cars that our old customers, although, you know, somebody will buy a Fiesta and then they'll buy a Mondeo and then they, I'm, I'm going to Granada's and we're back to Granada's now. Uh, you know, so they, they go through the range like that. But it's... Um, Anyway, we, we've got a lot of cars that our previous customers wouldn't buy. So we, we basically just had this conversation and I, I'm saying we, we need some more cars, round about £10,000, um, you know, not put all our eggs in one basket with big four-wheel drives, with this Rishi Sunak doing U-turns every day, we don't know what's going to happen. So uh, we just need to be careful. Yeah, right, okay, yeah, well, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> and then in the afternoon I came back and he says, I've just bought a Bentley. <laughs> so, oh, wow, <laughs> well, well done. Oh, well done, not putting all our eggs in one basket. Am I glad he bought it? Yeah, you bet. It's just lovely. And uh, you, you just need a house round here now. Windows are starting to mist up. I've got the aircon on full blast and it's, as I say, it is cold. <laughs> oh look, this is just, just sublime. Oh, 
Ooh, on on the overrun as well. Let me try and get a a bit of straight road. I should have put a microphone outside. Right, we've got a bit of straight road here. Let's just. Listen to that. <laughs> ah, dear me. What I'd give this car on the Amalfi Coast. There you go, see, if I'd have just done what a lot of people had done and just gunned it there, I'd have gunned it straight into the front of that. Uh... No, he's a decent cyclist, let me know, nice and early. This video is just me making a series of like strange noises. And this, don't forget, this is in comfort suspension as well. Comfort mode, comfort acceleration. a beautiful car. It's, it's, it's just Blackpool Air Show when the Spitfire comes over. That's it. That's the noise. I'm, I'm just going to. I'm just going to have a big stupid grin on my face on a <laughs> throughout this video. <laughs> I'll just look simple. Simple earth. The gear change. Country road, car parked on the pavement, just as you meet a big white van. Okay, I am going to finish the video there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want John to see how far I've been joyriding <laughs> while he's been working. Ah. 
Ah, that, that felt like the seatbelt was pulling me in as well. In fact, yeah, I'm sure it was. What a car. What a car. Thanks for watching. I think the next video, my next video actually, we've got a little Skoda Fabia, got a Nissan Juke, <laughs> some of the cars that uh, we've, we, we've got to suit our older customers. Not the Bentley. <laughs> Oh, well, you. Okay, that's it. That's definitely it. I'm going to keep driving it, but as far as the video goes, it's going to take me all night to edit this. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.